लो तो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द अर्ली क्लिनिकल एक्सपोजर टॉपिक टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज फ्रॉम द कार्बोहाइड्रेट मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड द केस इज क्लिनिकल केस इज जी सिक्स पीडी डिफिशियंसी मीन्स ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्पेट डिहाइड्रोजनेस डिफिशियंसी ओके नाउ सी द क्लिनिकल केस अ ट्वेल्व इयर ओल्ड बॉय सो ए ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व इयर ओल्ड बॉय ऑन प्राइमाक्विन थेरपी प्राइमाक्विन थेरपी फॉर मलेरिया सो इट इज गिवन इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ मलेरिया वॉज ब्रॉट टू द पेडेट्रिक क्लिनिक विथ चीप कंप्लेन्ट्स ऑफ येलो डिस्कलरेशन ऑफ स्क्लीन येलो डिस्कलरेशन ऑफ स्किन एंड स्क्लेरा एंड एनिमिया येलो डिस्कलरेशन ऑफ स्किन एंड स्क्लेरा एंड एनिमिया ही नोटिस्ड सेम सिम्टम्स वेन सल्फोनामाइड वॉज गिवन इन द पास्ट हिज इनडायरेक्ट बिलोरुबिन वॉज नाइन पॉइंट टू मिलीग्राम पर डेसीलीटर मेन्शन द डिफेक्टिव एंजाइम विच पाथवे इज अफेक्टेड इन दिस डिसीज This can be a SAQ short answer question. It can be a LAQ long answer essay type question when it is connected with the metabolic pathway. So it is a pathway which pathway is affected here in this disease. This is a case of glucose six phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Q. ये हम discuss करेंगे. Now HMP shunt hexose monophosphate shunt. is the important pathway it is an alternative pathway for oxidation of glucose into co2 that's why this pathway is known as shunt pathway hmp pathway is known as shunt pathway this g6pd deficiency it is x linked recessive disorder mostly affect the males females are carrier this disease affect the males and females are carrier g6pd deficiency as such the person or the as such the child is asymptomatic but when he is exposed to certain medications certain oxidant drugs for example primaquin sulfonamide acetanilide dapsone which is given in the treatment of leprosy then nitrofurantoin these drugs oxidant drug when, when he is exposed to oxidant drug the symptoms will develop because of generation of reactive oxygen species or because of generation of free radicals in this patient which having the deficiency of g6pd this enzyme they develops the symptoms in the form of jaundice in the form of anemia so this is known as drug induced hemolytic anemia so mention the defective enzyme here it is glucose Six phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme, which is defective, G six PD deficiency, glucose six phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, which pathway is affected in this disease? In this disease, the HMP shunt, hexose monophosphate shunt, shunt. Why it is known as shunt? because it is alternative pathway for oxidation of glucose into co2 that's why it is known as shunt pathway hexose monophosphate why it is known as monophosphate pathway because there is generation of monophosphate compound as in glycolysis there is generation of bisphosphate in this pathway there is formation of monophosphate that's why it is known as hexose monophosphate shunt it is also known as pentose phosphate pathway there is generation of pentoses in the non oxidative phase of hmp shunt there is generation of pentoses that's why it is also known as pentose phosphate pathway or phosphogluconate pathway because phosphogluconate is an intermediate in this cycle that's why it is known as phosphogluconate pathway alternative pathway for oxidation of glucose into co2 that's why it is known as shunt pathway okay so g6 pd deficiency why the symptoms develop why symptoms develop after this therapy primaquin sulfonamide dapsone acetanilide then nitrofurantoin or uh, after the consumption of fababins it causes the symptoms there is development of symptoms in the 
असिम्टोमैटिक इंडिविजुअल विच इज सफर्ड फ्रॉम द जी सिक्स पीडी डिफिशियंसी एक्स लिंक्ड रेसेसिव डिसऑर्डर नाउ इन दिस डिसऑर्डर सी दिस सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो हिमोलिटिक एनिमिया वेन ससेप्टिबल इंडिविजुअल्स आर एक्सपोज टू ऑक्सीडेटिव स्ट्रेस हिमोलिटिक एनिमिया वेन ससेप्टिबल ससेप्टिबल इंडिविजुअल्स आर एक्सपोज टू ऑक्सीडेटिव स्ट्रेस लाइक इन्फेक्शन और ड्रग्स ड्रग्स लाइक प्राइमेक्विन और सल्फोनामाइट इज सीन इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिफेक्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिफेक्ट हियर ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्पेट डिहाइड्रोजन इज दिस इज एंसर हियर ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्पेटेज डेफिशियंसी कॉजेस वन गर्ग्स दिस इज गैलेक्टोज वन फॉस्पेट यूरिडियल ट्रांसफर इज डेफिशियंसी कॉजेस क्लासिकल गैलेक्टोसेमिया अल्डोलेज बी डिफेक्ट कॉजेस हेरिडिटरी फ्रुक्टोज इंटॉलरेंस तो हियर एंसर इज ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्पेट डिहाइड्रोजन इज डेफिशियंसी नाउ सी द पाथ वे दिस पाथ वे इट इज नोन एज हेक्सोज मोनोफॉस्पेट शंट पेंटोज फॉस्पेट पाथ वे मोनोफॉस्पेट पाथ वे हेक्सोज मोनोफॉस्पेट पाथ वे पेंटोज फॉस्पेट पाथ वे दिस इज नोन एज शंट पाथ वे देर इज जनरेशन ऑफ पेंटो दिस वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ एच एम पी शंट देर आर टू इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोडक्ट दे आर प्रोड्यूस इन द एच एम पी शंट वन इज द पेंटोज शुगर दैट इज रायबोज एंड सेकेंड वन इज द एन एडी पी एच सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी uh important viva question what are the products of hmp shunt so here nadph and the ribose pentoses which is generated in the non oxidative phase of hmp shunt this is oxidative phase of hmp shunt where generation of nadph occurs there are total four reactions where nadph generation occurs and nadph is required for reductive biosynthesis means cholesterol biosynthesis steroid synthesis for this synthesis fatty acid synthesis for the reductase reaction mainly it is required nadph is required okay so it is provided by the oxidative phase of hmp shunt near about 60% of nadph it is provided by the oxidative phase of the hexose monophosphate shunt this is alternative pathway of glucose where glucose is converted into co2 where glucose is converted into co2 now there are two reactions where nadph generation occur one is when glucose 6 phosphate is converted into 6 phosphogluconolactone by the enzyme glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase and second 6 phosphogluconate is converted into ribulose 5 phosphate by oxidative decarboxylation where phosphogluconate dehydrogenase is the enzyme in these two steps nadph generation occur other than the HMP shunt. There are two important reaction that is cytosolic isocitrate dehydrogenase reaction and NADP malate dehydrogenase that is malic enzyme. These are the sources of NADPH other than HMP shunt. But this is important source of NADPH and NADPH is required for the glutathione reductase reaction, which also required the see this reaction. So, what is the basis of symptoms? in the when oxidant drugs are given to the patient with g6 pd deficiency now when we give the oxidant drugs oxidant drugs or infections in cases of infection where reactive oxygen species are generated or free radicals are generated so when oxidant drugs are given there is generation of free radicals free radicals and for this scavenging this free radicals what is required for scavenging the free radicals reduced glutathione is required so reduced glutathione is required and reduced glutathione for the reduced glutathione what is required for the reduced glutathione nadph is required so when person is already having the nadph deficiency and when we give the drug primaquin acetanilide sulfonamide nitrofurantoin dapsone these these drugs are the fababin consumption that causes the g6pd deficiency now see the reaction important reaction there is generation of superoxide anion radical when person is exposed to oxidant drug there is production of superoxide anion radical or free radicals or reactive oxygen species generation occurs now when this generation occurs it is scavenged by 
the enzyme superoxide dismutase this is the enzyme which scavenges the superoxide anion radical and converts this into hydrogen peroxide convert this into hydrogen peroxide now this hydrogen peroxide it is scavenged by the glutathione peroxidase selenium dependent enzyme glutathione peroxidase selenium dependent enzyme which converts this h2o2 into water molecule and for this reaction reduced glutathione is required so reduced glutathione is required and in this reaction this reduced glutathione it is converted into oxidized glutathione but regeneration of reduced glutathione is nadph dependent step now see this this is our interest now so this reduced glutathione is convert uh, so oxidized glutathione is converted into reduced glutathione with the help of nadph dependent glutathione reductase glutathione reductase enzyme for this step nadph is required if person is having the g6pd deficiency there is reduced production of nadph there is reduced production of nadph so there is no generation of reduced glutathione so this activity decreases free radical scavenging action decreases and this free radicals damages the rbc membrane it causes the lipid peroxidation it damages the rbc membrane and there is rapid destruction of rbc membrane and hemolysis of the rbc occurs that causes hemolysis means see if there is decrease nadph production nadph production as in g6pd deficiency and when the person is exposed to oxidant drug there is increased production of free radicals there is increased production of free radicals so this this causes this causes lipid peroxidation and damages the rbc membrane damage to rbc membrane so because of the damage to rbc membrane the hemolysis occurs rapid hemolysis occurs so that causes hemolytic anemia and as rapid hemolysis occurs there is production of means degradation of heme into bilirubin heme is degraded into bilirubin and this is bilirubin unconjugated bilirubin level this is unconjugated bilirubin which is elevated conjugated bilirubin which is increases because of rapid hemolysis because of rapid hemolysis there is destruction of heme into bilirubin heme is converted into bilirubin bilirubin is converted into bilirubin and this bilirubin is the unconjugated bilirubin which is elevated in the nadph deficiency so when person is exposed to oxidant drug there is decrease nadph production the nadph is required for the synthesis of reduced glutathione it is important for free uh, radical scavenging action as there is increased free radical production it damages the rbc membrane causes rapid hemolysis also nadph is important for keeping the iron in the ferrous state so it prevent the formation of meth hemoglobin meth hemoglobin formation it is prevented by the nadph if there is decreased production of nadph it favors the formation of meth hemoglobin then again damage to the rbc occurs so because of this reason there is rapid hemolysis and there is jaundice because of the increase of unconjugated bilirubin there is anemia so it is drug drug induced hemolytic anemia it is also seen in patient after the consumption of fibabins uh, and it is also known as favism okay it is also known as favism now see this 12 year old boy on primaquin therapy brought to the pediatric clinic with chief complaint of yellow discoloration of skin and sclera means jaundice anemia he noticed same symptoms when sulfonamide sulfonam was given in the past the indirect bilirubin means unconjugated bilirubin was 9.2 mg per deciliter normal range is 0.1 to 0.7 mg per deciliter unconjugated bilirubin here it is increase in the unconjugated bilirubin level so here defect is g6pd deficiency 
it is x link recessive disorder mostly affect the males females are the carrier and as such the disease is asymptomatic but when exposed to oxidant drugs or infection there is development development of symptoms in the form of anemia in the form of jaundice that is known as g6pd deficiency that is known as drug induced hemolytic anemia because of deficiency of glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme okay so this is hm patient this is oxidative phase of hm patient which occurs in the liver adipose tissue adrenal cortex cortex gonads and lactating mammary gland it is a supply of nadph for the reductive biosynthesis in various tissues so this is all about the g6pd deficiency in short about the oxidative phase of hmp shunt this is important pathway as a short note this is important pathway also for the long answer question when it is connected with the hmp shunt pathways if when the disease is connected with hmp shunt pathway so keep watching the ECE series. Thank you very much all of you. Thank you all of you.